I'm just a kid in a candy store right now. You know, for many, many years, I have uh, done business with this company, Aquascape Incorporated, way back when its founder was just getting going and he was just getting the retail end of things. I studied under some of his protégés out on the West Coast. I thought it would really benefit you guys to kind of see a little bit about water feature design. It's not everybody's idea of a vacation location, but it's mine. This must look pretty cool at night with all the lights. Now, can you name that tree? Can you imagine the amount of tonnage of all these boulders having to be placed by large excavators to create this retaining wall back here on the roadside? Hundreds and hundreds of tons of boulders here. Boulders that are damn near as big as a Yugo. Now these stack slated urns are grande size. I believe you can purchase them this size, but I think they also had them custom made for the corporate headquarters. But this is what I used to put in a lot when they were the large and the medium ones used to go into the small residential landscapes I used to do all the time. And they're just really a unique, a, a unique feature that you can put into a landscape, especially with the sound and then what the urn does for the water itself. It literally brings it alive. And I think it's a nice touch. You might want to consider it. And it's easy to do. A basin, you can put one of these things in in less than a day if you had a little help, depending on what your soil conditions are. Yeah, these are water features on a, on a a grand scale here. So just kind of reduce it down in size and scope. 
And if you're wondering where all this water goes, it returns. It returns down into the gravel basin that you see down in front of me here, and it just recirculates. They have some pretty good sized pumps because those are inch and a half spouts coming through the top of the urns. So they're throwing out 30 gallons a minute there times one, two, three, plus the bowl. So yeah, they've got at least two or three pumps in here that are doing the job. Pretty good size. This is probably, from the bottom of it to the top, is probably eight feet tall and about four feet at the wide. You can do it for a residential, but I would suggest a smaller one. This patio they put in is a permeable patio. So it has a, a liner and gravel underneath it and all these bricks permeate right through. So this all goes right here and goes out to the, out to the water. So water cannot hang around here and flood. must be a skimmer bolt right there. I got aerator out in the middle there to keep the oxygen level up. You know, if you decide to do a water feature of any scale, especially if you're doing pond, make sure that you get it to a balance point. And a balance point is achieved through the use of plant material, filtration, biological bacteria added, and fish. Fish and plant material. And it will, it will correct the pH, it will clear stuff up tremendously. The fish will take care of stuff down on the bottom, you can introduce frogs, you can introduce snails, and all kinds of stuff, and you will find how easy it is to maintain it. This is the inside retail center of Aquascape Incorporated. It's got all kinds of ideas, including the one right behind me. 
If you think water features are only for outdoors, think again. These are all indoors right here. I hope you enjoy it. Take a look at some of the interesting features that Aquascape has brought to the landscape world. Now I think you'll enjoy it tremendously. I'll be back with you in just a minute. So now if you look at the, the pondless waterfall that's behind me right here, along with the water bowl, you can see how the recirculatory system really works. And check out the size of the boulders. I used to call them one-man boulders because one person could generally move them around. And properly mounted and then properly done with character boulders and other stuff, you can create this yourself too. This right here, yeah, for the Aquascape crew probably took them two days. For you, maybe to take a, a couple of weekends, but it can be done. It's just a matter of know-how. And if you have any interest in it, you can email me and I can turn you on to these people or you can find Aquascape Incorporated online, aquascapeinc.com. Anyway, check out the bowls. It's, this is one type of water feature that came on just as I was leaving, but I think they're, they're slick. And they look really good even in a small environment, a small patio, a condominium patio. You can make it work really, really well. And then with some of the lighting and stuff, you can imagine the ambiance you can create out in your back patio. gives you an idea of how you fill up some of the void in a pondless waterfall basin or a pond. In this particular case, it, I would use it for the pondless waterfalls. This is how I used to do it. Put these together and you put them a certain number of them, depending on the size of the feature you're putting in. You got lots of water volume still in here, but you don't have to have that much more rock. And it's easier to take out if you needed to service it. And then in and around the vault itself, is what you use here. This is in and around. What I used to do is averaged about three of these for a pondless waterfall feature. So I think it was considered a medium sized one. Sure, a heck of a lot easier than the old vault and centipede that they used to have many years ago. So good idea. I, st I still love putting in these kinds of things. Hey, if you're looking for the, the typical size pondless waterfall feature, for the average residential yard. Voila, there it is. This is about the size that I used to specialize in because the price point of sale for most people was in reach without scaring somebody off. I mean, the big water features that you've seen in other parts of Aquascape here, yeah, we're talking uh, high five, six, and even seven figures to pull off something like that. But this one here, this one here, a person could do with a little bit of help to manhandle some of these bigger boulders or rent a small uh, skid steer or something for a weekend. Someone could put that in in a weekend or two without any problem. And if you notice, the water originates up there and it disappears down here. And if you're looking for something that's a lot lower maintenance, the pondless waterfall features are the way to go. You don't have to worry about balancing. You don't have to worry about pH. Occasionally, if you're in a full sun area, 
you might have to worry about string algae in the summertime that's easily correctable with an additive. Hey, enjoy. This one doesn't have much landscaping around it because it's under, under structure here in deep shade. Well guys, I know it's a little change of pace, but I hope you've enjoyed this little venture to Aquascape Incorporated in St. Charles, Illinois. You can find them on, uh, you can find them on the web, aquascapeincorporated.com. It's a place that I've really enjoyed visiting. And if you ever get up in the St. Charles, Illinois area, maybe you'll take them in too. Hey, until next week, when you get my mug back on the camera, take a look at these final huge stack slated urns as we leave. Bye for now. See you next week.